Now, the original plan was like, at this time I was supposed to be in New York City for New Year's Eve. And there's a long story that goes into this, but basically I never ended up going. Now I had every intention on going, um, but originally there was like three or four other people going with me. And they basically all like ended up having to cancel on me due to like family things and their parents say, things like that. And it ended up just like me. I was the only one uh, able to go in the end. Now last night I was really thinking about just going by myself and I have plenty of reasons why maybe I should have gone by myself. But in the end I realized at the last second that it, in order to get a good spot in Times Square for the ball drop, you have to buy a ticket for a really good spot. I never knew that. And by the time I was trying to get the ticket to get that good spot, they were all taken up or super expensive. So the original reason why I wanted to go to New York City and see the ball drop, I have New Year's resolution goals. Um, I have a lot of them. And I feel as though if I went to go see the actual ball drop and it turned 2017, um, then I'd see a physical representation of it being 2017. And that would just mean go time for me. That would just mean go chase me and just go accomplish all my goals for the year 2017. Um, and so that's what I originally wanted to do. And so I thought that if I just went by myself, it'd be more authentic to me. But it never ended up that way. I, I ended up not being able to go, um, which is super sad. It really does get me down. And so I was like, last night I was like, oh my God, I gotta do something to make up for this. And so I have a video that's gonna be coming out. I feel as though we'll make up for it and represent the year 2016 for me because the year 2016 for me has been absolutely amazing. Okay.